On the subject of film, this year has seen the release of Europe's first 3D feature film. Street Dance 3D came out last May to a warm reception from the critics. But has it brought a new dimension to European filmmaking? Graham Bowd has been finding out. It's the movie that will bring the world to its feet. It's glossy, it's noisy, it's full of energy. Street Dance 3D has the look of a Hollywood action movie, but it was shot in London with post-production in Berlin. Most of the young cast were unknown outside the urban dance scene, and the filmmakers were learning too. On a tight budget, producers Vertigo decided not to import expensive talent from the US. That meant a production team with little experience of stereoscopic cinematography. But the tools were tried and tested. The film was shot with Paradise FX camera systems and graded with Nucoda Film Master from Digital Vision. To get the maximum audience, Street Dance had to reach 3D screens ahead of Toy Story 3. So a fast turnaround was essential. We have been working on 3D movies going back to 2006. There's a long post-production process. So you're dealing with double the amount of pixels, trying to do double the amount of rendering, and you're trying to keep it all interactive in real time. Typically, in, in the mastering environments, the you know, it's client attended, you want everything to be very quick and fast. So there's double the amount of processing needs to be done. The film has a predictable story with rival crews preparing for a competition. There's also a meeting between hip-hop and ballet as the classical dance troupe lends its rehearsal room to the street kids. To make the most of the 3D medium, the directors wanted plenty of stuff flying through the air. So the script includes a food fight. Considering the clean-up job, you wouldn't want too many takes of this. Another challenging scene was shot at London's Notting Hill Carnival. For us, London is the character in this film, so it's like, as a character, you've got to showcase its best points, and one of its greatest points it has is that we have a great carnival every year, so for us to do a British film in the summer, it was like important to have it on the map of the calendar that we would be shooting in Notting Hill Carnival. Yeah, so, it was always something that yeah. we wanted to do. So our producer kind of pulled their hairs out and was like saying... How are we going to do this? this? And we're like, well get a crane in the camera and let's roll Yeah, we literally hired one of the floats, a, yeah. a float um, called Poison, with speakers, like imagine the speakers are as, as tall as, you know, tw 12 foot speakers blaring in their ears and yeah. they had to all wear headphones. The carnival took place on a dull weekend, so it was a challenge to match the vibrant look of other scenes. Film Master's grading tools coped well with this. The film's colourist says his biggest task was maintaining that look in a range of cinemas. Some 3D projectors are poorly calibrated. Darker scenes in particular may not look right unless the grade is compromised. A variety of opportunities to see a big variety of tests in many different cinemas. And it was quite shocking to see how big the difference between all those projections has been. So it seems that current standards for setting up and measuring those projectors seem to fail. So the industry should actually improve and um, find better, easier to use tools to line up those projections. The young cast will hope this can be a launch pad for successful careers. And it will certainly add another dimension to the filmmakers' CVs.